Hello everyone. Today I plan on showing you how to make floating islands of any size like these you see here using the plugin World Edit found within the mod single player commands. You can see some that I just added into this world that look a bit boring right now. But in the next video I'll be showing you how to terraform islands like these with grass, hills, and even ores. So now we're on my testing map where I've been making these islands, among other things. So the way we get the shape of our island is by using trees. World Edit can make a nice variety of trees, but I prefer the big tree type you see here, and sometimes the default smaller tree for little floating rocks, smaller islands, or even edges. Now to start, we'll bind these trees to a tool. To make the trees, hold the tool you want to bind, then type in double slash tree and the type big tree as one word. Now our tool is turned into a tree generator and we can now grow trees by left clicking anywhere on the ground. So now we have a small forest of trees and you can make out how the outline of our island will look. This can be any size or shape you want, even one big tree can make a nice small island. Now to turn these trees into an island, we will need to change the materials into a block that is affected by gravity, like sand or gravel. To do this, we need to select the area. I use the plugin World Edit GUI to make my selection visible. Double slash wand will give you the area select tool, then just right and left click to make the selection. Now at this point, some people may build a dirt tower so they can make the selection reach over the object they're trying to select, but that is a long and unneeded method. Instead, we can just expand our selection upward with a single command. Double slash expand the amount, let's say 30, and the direction we want up. There. That is much easier and a big time saver than making dirt towers to reach the higher areas. We can also use another command to bring up our selection out of the ground, which is the exact opposite of the expand. Double slash contract, one, up, to bring the bottom of a selection up by one so it's no longer in the ground. With your trees selected, it is time to change the materials. This step, based on your system's memory, or even how big of an island you made, can cause some serious lag due to the number of moving blocks. Looking away can help, but you may still lag. If a big island is too much for your system, you can always make smaller islands, then join them together to make a bigger one. Now to change the materials, we use the replace command, starting with the leaves. Replace, leaf, sand. And this will turn all the leaves in the sand. Now we'll do it again for the trunks of the trees. Replace log sand. And now our forest of trees will be changed into piles of sand that will fall and form the underside of our island. And there we go. We have our piles of sand. Look around for any bits that may still be floating and punch out a block to make them fall to join the rest of the island. Now we do another replace, this time turning all of the sand into stone. Double slash, replace, sand, stone. And there we go. Our island, albeit upside down for the time. Some of the trunks of our trees have formed these little spikes. If you don't like how some of them look, or have too many, you can always break some away. This next step is optional. You don't have to do this, but it's something I like doing just to get my islands off the ground for the following step. 
Yes, we're going to move this whole island. No MC edit, no copying, cloning, just a simple command. Double slash move three up. The move command is very nice when you want to tweak the location of a selection by a little bit. I would not recommend using this to move long distance. It is time to turn this island right side up. To flip this island, we need to copy it to our clipboard, as unlike the move command, rotating or flipping won't affect the physical island, but what is saved in our clipboard. There are two ways to do this. Double slash copy will copy the selection, but we also want to remove the island so we have space to flip it. So instead, we use double slash cut. This will copy our selection to our clipboard, while also cutting our selection from the world, so we have the space we need. To flip the island right side up, we will simply flip it using double slash flip up, and we will see the clipboard has been flipped. And now we can add our island back into the world. We can paste our island back at the same location with double slash paste minus O. Adding the minus O at the end will make it paste back into the world at the same location it was cut. And there's our island. In the next video I'll show you how to terraform this with grass, hills, and even ore deposits. And show you how I get the island from this map to the other, all in game. To end this, I'll show you how quick and easy it is to make an island in real time once you get all these commands down. Until then...